Hello there and welcome. In this video we are going to take a look at the rough linter. And basically it claims to be an extremely fast Python linter which is written in Rust. We have some nice graphs which show us how it compares to speed-wise. And uh, in this video we are going to take a look at it and how you can use it. So, I have created the Rough Rider folder. Let's create a virtual environment roughing. And once the environment is ready, we are going to install. So installing it after activating the environment is pretty simple. pip install rough. You have the option to install it with uh, Homebrew, Conda, Arch Linux, Alpine, whatever we feel like. So let's uh, open up our code editor. I'm using VS Code, but basically you, you don't need to use any code editor in this. So let's create a numbers folder. Inside the numbers folder, we will have an init file. And inside the numbers folder, we will have the numbers.py. And uh, inside the numbers.py, we will have an import from the typing. And we import list. And import the OS module. And some even numbers. Numbers list int and returns an int and basically we return a number for number in numbers if num modulo 2 is equal to 0. So basically we have a sum even numbers function and we type hint hinted that uh, the argument numbers is a list of integers and we are returning an integer. And after we have installed it, what we can do is the following. So let's get back here and issue the rough check dot. And <laughs> basically let's uh, enter here and now run it. I was higher than the right folder so I navigated to the numbers folder and I have issued the rough check dot which will check uh, or lint the contents of the actual folder and technically here we can see an error message which states that the OS module is imported but never used. What we can do is to issue the fix uh, command and if we go back to the source code you will see that this was removed. Magic! And uh, what do we have here? Get diff. Ah, no, it's not going to work. All right, let's go further. So we have the option to use the pyproject.toml in our project's root directory. So basically, if we create the following project that tomo what we can do is to add configuration items so tool dot rough is the section and we say that the line length should be 79 if we save it and run the rough check that we don't see any errors, but why don't we see? <gasps> oh, because we have to go back here and create a comment which will basically 
ensure that the column is longer than what we defined. And if we go back, and let's eat find the reflex. pyproject.toml so pyproject.toml numbers it was saved dick max length What do we have here? There's the shop and we have the verbals. So dot dash verbals. So as you can see, we have the verbals option and then What we have is in the logs, see that the init, the numbers, and the pi project Tomo are checked, and it identified the lines which need hinting, and checked three files in two milliseconds. But why is it not picking up the pi project? Rafflinter by project Tomo not picked up. So we have the init, the numbers, we have the configuration. Let's try to rename it. Save it. And let's run it. Hmm. It is not going to pick up. So this line is 55. Oh, and I think the problem is that the comments are ignored. Let's go back. Let's make it 50. And as you can see, the comments are ignored. So basically, here is how we could check uh, or define a set of rules. And we also have the option to add a requirement for the Python version. So uh, project and we see that it Python version Python uh, requires Python equals greater or equal than 3.10. If we run it once again, We have the requires Python name So this has the project the tool that rough Let's remove it. It has the problem with this. I 
Oh, all right. So missing field rough 200. Let's see what it has to say. <clears throat> Thomas syntax not accepted. If we uh, want to verify what are the different rules and how they basically and what they mean, we have the docs rules section. And if you search for rough 200, you can see that it's an invalid pro my project tomo. And here it is requiring us to specify a name. So basically, if I say that the name is numbers and save it and run it once again, you can see that error is gone and we only have the line length. Let's make it 55. Okay, the error is gone. So that's a way to configure it and uh, we have something called rule selection. So rough supports over 500 lint rules split, acro split across over 40 built-in plugins. And determining the right set of rules will depend on the project's needs. Some rules may be too strict, some are framework specific and so on. So basically uh, what we can do is the following. We could specify to select a rule set and this is going to be a list e is for pycode style and f is for pyflix and the up is for pi upgrade and if we go back and try to run our checker once again, you can see that the pi upgrade rule has thrown an error. So basically it is telling us that the typing list is deprecated and we should use list instead. So if we go back here and remove this typing and say that this is a list, and run it once again, you can see that the error is gone. So that's one way to modify the rule set. And you can also choose to ignore errors. So basically what we could do is the following. Uh, if we Remove uh, add once again this typing information and go hashtag rough no QA up 006 and save it. You can see that the 006 was ignored, and all that is left is the up 035. So basically. Yeah, that's one way to go about it. And if you want more details as to how you can use it or configure it, you can do that by visiting the official docs. So that was all. See you in the next one.